Hello from Peak Samaki, a small but important railway town in the southern Sava region of Finland. In this video we'll be taking a trip on board one of the Finnish Pendolino trains to Tampere. The Pendolino trains in Finland are based on the design of the Italian ETR 460 trains built by Fiat Railway Division in Italy. These are very similar to other Pendolino trains around Europe, such as the mentioned Italian ETR 460 sets or the Slovenian 310 series as shown on screen now. Similar train sets can also be found in Spain, Portugal and the Czech Republic. Let's get on board shall we? We'll be travelling aboard Pendolino train 146 from here in Piksamagi to Helsinki via Tampere. Our seat today is in carriage number 4, which is a standard class carriage, or eco class as Ria calls it. Not a lot on board the train so far, but the train is not due to leave for another half hour, so it might fill up a bit closer to departure. I've picked seat 45 today, which is a window seat in a bay of 4 with a table. When booking with Ria, you can select a seat for free. Above the seats there are ample luggage storage opportunities for anything like a trolley bag or a rucksack or whatever you may choose to bring on board. For larger items there is storage space at the end of each carriage. As we wait for departure, let's take a closer look at our route today. Our journey starts in Peak Samaki, which is in the South Sava region of Finland. The railway station here is an important interchange station with three lines meeting. Running south to north is the Kovula to Iisami line, also known as the Sava railway line. From the east is the railway line from Jonsu to Peak Samaki. And from the west is the railway line from Jyväskylä and Tampere. This is the line we will be taking departing Peak Samaki. We'll depart towards the west, as our train begins its journey towards Tampere and finally Helsinki. We will stop in Honkensalmi and then Jyväskylä, before continuing south towards Tampere, stopping in Jamse and Ovisi on the way. We will be travelling as far as Tampere, but the train continues south towards Helsinki via Rimaki for a total journey time of 4 hours and 31 minutes, reaching speeds of up to 200 km per hour. Let's take a closer look at the seats on board these Pendolino trains. There's an adjustable headrest. And two power outlets. However, these are a bit inconvenient if you're seated in the aisle. The armrest can be moved up and down. The seats are very well padded and were very comfortable. There's a movable footrest. And a seat pocket, as well as a tray table, which can definitely fit a laptop. Oh, all a really good seat. Let's have a look at the rest of the train. Here is the first class offering which is known as extra class on board VR's trains. In addition to the better seats, in the middle of the extra class carriage there is also a self service station with free hot drinks and water included. And at the very end of extra class there is even a private meeting room for 6 people. Let's go and take a look at the rest of the train. Extra class is located at either the very end or the very front of the train, depending on the travel direction. To the left is where the self-service drink station is located. I'm yet to travel in extra class, but maybe on another journey. A quick look at the toilet. 
It's no different to any other of the toilets, the one located next to extra class. It was clean, functioning, and had everything you needed. There's also an accessible toilet located in another carriage in the train. A quick peek at one of the other toilets, which also had some green decals. A quick walk through one of the other second class carriages. This carriage is home to the flex area, where there will be spaces and seats for wheelchair users. Or other things such as a baby carriage. The accessible toilet is located in the area right behind the wheelchair spaces. It also features baby changing facilities. In the next carriage is the restaurant carriage. Here you can buy a drink, a cup of coffee or a freshly cooked meal. They offer everything such as pasta dishes, beer, club sandwiches or Swedish meatballs. The restaurant on Pendolino trains are open on most journeys. This one was no exception, it was just shut before we departed Peak Samaki. It opened later in the journey and was serving meals and drinks and everything. I didn't order anything on this particular journey. However, the one following, I ordered the meatballs for dinner. It was very delicious, I can definitely recommend using the restaurant car. In general, I'm a big fan of dining cars. Not just the ones here on board this Pendolino, but in general across the world. I'm a huge fan of the Polish ones, which I sadly haven't made a video on. You may have noticed when we boarded the train that there were a few steps up. If you need step free access, don't worry, at the restaurant car there's a ramp that will take you right into the train. After a very pleasant two hours we arrive on time into Tampere, where I will end my journey. The train continues after a short wait here towards Helsinki. The price for a journey from Peak Samaki to Tampere starts at 13 euros and 30 cents and operates after an airline style pricing model with prices increasing close to departure time. You can buy your tickets on the website and show a PDF on your phone or directly in the mobile app. You can also buy a ticket in one of the limited ticket offices at some of the major stations or from the ticket machine. While the Pendolino trains lacks a few things compared to the regular intercity trains on the Finnish rail network, they are still a really good option for travel domestically in Finland and offers many advantages over taking the bus or flying, such as the restaurant car. I hope you have enjoyed this trip report. If you have, please consider subscribing. If you would like to follow my travels in real time, you can follow me on Twitter. My hat was shown on the screen. Once again, thanks for watching.